What's happening, everyone? Jay Shockblast here, and uh, as soon as I hit post on uh, that Night Monkey video uh, for Spider-Man getting his skin tomorrow, uh, March 10th, in uh, Marvel's Avengers, another tweet out went out uh, from Marvel's Avengers talking about the Age of Ultron Black Widow skin coming exclusively to the Xbox and PC marketplace for one week. Uh, it'll be out tomorrow as well for 1400 V bucks. And uh, this one is interesting because there was a point in time when it showed up randomly in uh, the game and said it was going to be a shipment skin. We all kind of thought this was going to be the March shipment skin instead of the uh, Captain America one that we got. And then it just kind of disappeared. And I don't really think they said anything. Um, and I know there are people on Twitter that are speculating that it was, we were told it was unfinished and I don't know where that came from. I know that I speculated that maybe it wasn't finished. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with this. I don't know why they're doing it this way. I, I think it's just something that they're trying as far as the whole, uh, one week early on Xbox since PlayStation has, you know, Spider-Man, but, uh, I don't really think it's necessary. I don't think PC players or Xbox players really care about having a skin one week early. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. I understand them trying to make it something, you know, that's thinking about those players, but at the end of the day, who cares? Like, just put it out for everybody. I say that as somebody that has all the achievements on Xbox, uh, that is everybody at level 50, power 150 on Xbox. Listen, like, just just put it out for everybody. We don't we don't need to do this. Like, I don't, the exclusivity stuff sucks to begin with. Just, just put it out, all right? As far as whether or not this was intended to be free, I, I don't know. It was never announced as being a, a shipment skin. It just kind of showed up in the game randomly and then disappeared as quickly as it was there. So honestly, if that never happened, I don't think anybody would have ever raised eyebrows about it. Obviously, it doesn't look great because it did pop up in the, in the game and it did say it was a shipment skin. So nobody's going to suddenly forget that. Everybody thought they were going to get it for free. And uh, I, I just don't know what to make of this. I I think overall, not the best execution uh, for this one. I, I kind of do feel like they should have just sucked it up and made it a shipment skin. Um, I I don't know. I don't know. I don't I don't think it's like you know nefarious like I've I've seen in some tweets. But uh, I can see why it doesn't look good either. You know. But, like, they literally never specifically said, this is a skin you're going to be able to acquire for free. So, I mean, it is what it is. I guess that's the downside of uh, the way their their item shop and everything is is made. Because sometimes these, these skins just randomly show up with a mind of their own. I don't know. But, uh, anyway, I, I think this is going to be a topic for debate uh, for a lot of people. I'm sure we're going to talk about it on Doom Killer HD's show on Saturday. So uh, stay tuned. But in any event, I do believe this will be 1400 V-Bucks tomorrow on Xbox and PC. And then next, next Thursday, uh, the 17th, it should be available on PlayStation as well. I'm Jay Shockblast and I approve this message. Of course I did, because I posted it on YouTube. Whatever, bye.